Hello guys and welcome, in today's video I'm going to show you how to view Daisy's 3D models in all their glory from the game files. From extracting the PBO, all the way up to viewing them in high resolution, just like this. Ok so I'm going to show you the quickest and simplest way to get this working. We want to install the BI tools, so if we go here and run it, yeah, accept the terms of use. Now what I did is I just installed all of these, one after the other it will come up and you just go through each one and install them all, but all we need really is Oxygen 2 I believe, um, I don't know if there's anything else that we definitely need from this. Um, but. Uh, I installed all of them just in case to avoid any errors or missing files, DLLs, etc. Um, but you just click OK and install all of those. I've already got them all installed, so I'll just close that for now. Doing this will create you a P drive local disk, which will contain Oxygen and Bulldozer. If it doesn't appear when you first install it, try restarting your PC and it should fix the issue. You're going to need to install the Extractor PBO, DPBO and DPAC and possibly DOGG, but we're going to install that anyway, I think that's just for sound files and uh, possibly a DLL, but uh, we'll in go install all four of these. So if we do those now, and we'll, uh, they don't take long, they're pretty quick to install. Mind the beeps, and uh, once these are all installed, as you can see they don't take long, and extractor, they all go to the same directory and give you the necessary files to extract a PBO correctly. So if we then open up Steam, Go to Daisy. Make sure it is on Experimental Build, the latest Experimental Build to get all the latest 3D models. We then want to go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, then go into the Add-ons folder, search down the list for Weapons Firearms PBO. Just simply copy that, paste it into there. We're going to replace the file. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to go into our BI work, which contains our PBO file. Now what we're going to do is delete this, which is what we use PBO Manager for, uh, which is the longer way. But what we're going to do is right click, open with, extract all PBO types uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with the DPBO. Uh, so let's have a look. Now we've just got to wait for it to finish. As we can see here, uh, no errors, so we're going to press any key. And if we go in here, we should now have DZ weapons, firearms, and all of the required files. Now what we want to do with this to make things a lot easier is just right click this, copy, go to P drive, and then we just want to paste that into here. Now it's going to replace my previous files that I made. Uh, we'll just click replace, and there we go, DZ, weapons, firearms. Now this is where Bulldozer looks for its textures, which is all extracted now in our PBO file that we extracted earlier. Now we're going to want to create a CFG file, preview.cfg to be exact, and put the following contents in it. I'll show you how to do this now from the start to the finish and where to place it. And we'll create a new text document and we will call it preview and change the text to CFG and then click yes. Now this will create a preview.cfg, then we open it and it will be empty. And in the tutorial and in the description below, there will be what you need to copy and paste into this. So let me drag this across, and there we go. This is what we need to copy in from the tutorial, which uh, we will have here, and we will paste it here. Now it needs to be exactly as this is shown here. Nothing above, nothing below, and nothing changed at all. And then you can just save the CFG there and close these. So once we've got our preview.cfg, we need to go to our P drive, which the BI tools created with Oxygen and Bulldozer. And this is where we put our DZ weapons firearms folders for all our textures for our weapons. And all we need to do then is paste our preview.cfg into there. It will replace the one I already had, and there we go. Now this is needed for later on while we use Oxygen 2 in a command line that we must add. And that will be coming up very soon. So now we've extracted our weapons PBO file in its correct file path. And then all we need to do is start up the P3D analyzer which is going to basically open up our files. Uh, let me get to the right folder here. And then that's where we have all of our models. So if we go with the, say, let's say the Winchester, we just open up that. We've got the, uh, we've got the file there, we can see the model. 
it's all nice and, and sexy there we can we can zoom in a little bit and move down and we can see our 3d mesh there and then all you want to do is click file operations extract MLOD and then you click on the existing file that we've just opened and save and this will overwrite the file where this is what we want to do once we've finished with the uh, p3d analyzer we can just close it and then all we need to do then is go back to our BI work weapons firearms DZ weapons firearms and this is where we will find uh, our Winchester and open it up in oxygen 2 and this will be our converted file which will now load ignore these triangles they don't really mean anything you can remove them it doesn't make a difference so the first time you launch oxygen 2 it will want you to do some setups if you do skip this and you forget to set it up you can always go to file and then options and the one important thing that we must do is external viewer and make the command line exactly what I have here now this will be copy and pasted into the description from here so you can just simply copy and paste it again for yourselves and have the correct command line it must be exactly as is shown here the most important things are the p bulldozer which is the directory and folder that it's new it's made the new drive and cfg uh, previewed or cfg which will also be in the description below now i'll show you what will happen when you try and launch a 3d model in bulldozer from oxygen 2 if you do not have the texture files on your newly created p drive as well as the previewed or cfg let's open the winchester 70 now let's launch Bulldozer without the textures in the P drive. We get the cannot load textures error, and if we press OK and zoom in, let's get right into that weapon. We can see already there is no textures on the weapon at all, as well as the Bulldozer launcher being a very low resolution. And we need this to be big so we can get the detail all up nice in our faces. So we've got our preview.cfg in the P drive there. We've got our DZ weapons, firearms, and everything. All the textures are there ready. And we've got our command set up here. You just press OK. And then all we need to do then, once everything is set up correctly and you've followed the instructions, you click on the bulldozer logo there. Start. And you'll get this uh, texture error, which is fine. And it should load everything super sexy. And you just need to move in with WASD. And it's all there. Now it is a low quality texture at the moment, but there is a trick to getting it to work. If we tab, we can go to Oxygen 2 again, drag over all of the uh, polygons, press and hold Control and Shift together, right mouse click anywhere on the, uh, get it right, there we go, right mouse click on the model and then drag up, you can let go and click again and drag again make it even bigger now this is a little trick to get the high resolution texture working now what we need to do is click back off into bulldozer and there we go the high resolution texture which we can then view and look around you you can see all the the marks and imperfections in the wood and the metal and all the good stuff like that very nice detail and we can also see that the texture is not quite high so if we want to to make it as super sexy detailed as we want oxygen 2 highlight the whole lot control and shift together must hold those two together then right click and resize once you've done that and you go back into bulldozer you will have a high resolution texture and then we can move in and see it's high resolution and it is super sexy let me tell you a thing or two about that And that's all there is to it, guys. Any problems, put them in the comments below. I will try my best to help you out. I hope this will get you guys looking at all the detail of the models that the DAISY development team put into DAISY. This is something that a lot of people have been asking about. And uh, it'll be up there on the DAISY TV website. Links in the description of that. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful at all or interesting. And I will see you peeps next time.